The buy sell pressure indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and apply it to your charts. Traders can also refer to this page to learn how the indicator works. We select the indicator file from the navigator section and execute the indicator by clicking on the file on the chart. Just make sure to activate the Hello Dealer option in the common section and then click the Confirm option. The indicator should be placed on the chart. An oscillator window should be displayed on the chart. The indicator should be a handy tool for detecting buying pressure and selling pressure on the chart. The way the indicator is calculated and works is based on the current candle's close is used to calculate the difference with the lowest price over a specified period which we set in the settings and this is considered as buying pressure. Similarly, it calculates the difference with the highest price over the same period which we also specify in the settings and this is considered as selling pressure. The calculations are then performed accordingly. The blue line represents our buying pressure line. When the blue line crosses above the red line, it indicates buying pressure, meaning that buying pressure has increased in that area. After that, we can see that the price also moves sharply upward. Or in this section, the red line means our selling pressure line. When the blue line crosses towards the fin, it indicate selling pressure in this range, which we see the price moving sharply downwards. In the settings section, in the input section, there is only one option available for us, where traders can select the calculation period settings. By default, it's set to 13, but here I'm going to set it to 21, and then click the OK button. Now we can see that the calculation period for the indicator has changed for me and the oscillator is displayed on the chart. Well, friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you could share your comments and, um, and suggestions with us in the comments section.